Exactly. How do you forget that? Right? Mo personally had 18 installs in an entire week by himself. And then I'm looking at guys like, I'm going to do three in a week. Maybe I'm going to try my hardest. Like that shit like set me off yesterday. And I'm like, Ken, I'm falling on the sword. It's my fault. Like I feel like somewhere in this Tony Robbins, like rah, rah, rah. You know, I haven't been holding guys accountable. And look at what's happening. We got guys that are freaking peak performers forgetting that they're lions. Acting like little kitty cats. Right? So I want to get on this call and I want to apologize to everyone on this call, especially everyone that's on my team for me being the top leader and not holding guys to a higher standard and not holding guys accountable. It's my fault that we're not hitting our goals every single week. So I wanted to put out a public service announcement, right? This is not no fear-based meeting or anything like that. This is just someone, any people who know me and are close to me, they know how passionate I am about my goals. We sit down as an organization, us as the partners, we sit down and we talk about having billion dollar revenue goals. With billion dollar revenue goals, that means we have multi, multiple millionaires within our organization. And that's something that the higher ups at the top, we're really passionate about doing, but it cannot be done. If guys are not held accountable, if there's no accountability within the organization and me being a leader and competitive, um, I can't, I, I, I can't sit back and allow mediocre uh, performance and we can't allow it anymore. So um, that's just my rant. I had a different meeting, but I'm like, screw that meeting. I need to get this off my chest. I didn't sleep at all last night. I was going round and round in my head about this. And I'm like, we're going into 2020. This is first quarter. And this is not how we enter the year. This is not how we're going to achieve our goals, setting such low standard goals for ourselves. Savon, this meeting. Yes. If I can attribute to something, uh, that the fact that you made it so uh, I don't know for my for me example I don't get scared over numbers and things like that but the way that you made it seem like you guys have to hit this goal or there was going to be some sort of punishment I'm not sure if some reps got scared or felt more timid towards that you're like talking about chopping off pinkies and things like that so I'm not sure if that just kind of like set them back to like be more timid towards their goal instead of like all right, you know, let me rise to the challenge. Um, I don't know if some people will operate different ways and things like that. Hey, I mean, that that right there just lets you know right there, Speedy. Like, I challenge the team, and then we say we're going to do less because of a challenge. Right? Do you want your Cowboys to be that way? Hell no. Um, you want Dak Prescott to get called out and be like, you know what, I'm just going to uh, hand the ball off to Zeke and, and, and I don't want to throw the ball because I'm afraid to make a mistake. Hell no. Hell you no. want Dak out there like, you know what, I'm going to throw darts. I'm going I'm to tear through the defense. I'm going to run the ball if I have to. I'm going to do whatever it's going to take for me to achieve that goal. And that's the mentality that our sales team should have. We're great. We got a great – we have an amazing company amazing people around us. All of you guys on this call, we freaking love all of you guys. I and my team, you guys already know. Yeah. Right. Appreciate it. So it's imperative that we change our paradigm. It's imperative that we change our standards and we start walking and acting like lions, like kings, like, like we are A1. 
We are not A2. We are not B1. We are A1. Everyone within this organization, we have the ability to supersede our goals. And as the leader, I'm not accepting anything less than, than that type of mentality. We're too early on in the year, and I want to see guy. I want to see this organization hit its goals. So I have a quote that I want to leave you guys with. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So if you see me and you're on my team and I pull you aside and we have a conversation, I don't want you to think, oh, Stefan is just having a bad day. No. It's time for accountability. And we all need it. All right? So a quote for the day, and we'll let you guys go here. Accountability is the glue that ties commitment to results. Accountability is the glue that ties commitment to results. Let's go out there today. Let's be great. Everyone that you set your goals in the office, man up, woman up, and do, follow your word, do what you said you were going to do. Let's get it. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Stefan, Stefan, real quick, it's Santi. What's up, Santi? Good morning, guys. Um, I apologize. I was actually uh, with a customer. I just got my first sale of the day. But, um, hey, there you go. Just, Where to start? A little dirt. Dirt. All money <laughs> in. Go ahead, Santi. Uh, real quick, I just want to bring this up to our intentions. Of, I'm, I'm talking about all the employees. I keep getting these customers. They keep saying a representative came from CMC. They're not doing follow-ups. So it's easy money for me, guys. I just want to thank you all for warm up the pod so I can just come back and wrap it up. <laughs> Fucking <Santi. laughs> Shit. Damn, Santi. Hey, man, awesome. I'm a shark. I'm a shark. Yeah. I'm a shark. Yeah. You guys go out there. There goes the that work accountability. So you can come to wrap it up. There we go. You know? Hey, guys. Before you guys leave here. There's a lot of money to be made out here. Okay, hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Go ahead, Andy. Yeah, I believe Ken wanted to chime in on the accountability. Ken, are you still there? 